Okay, before we begin though, as you can see from the title, this video is not about how you can get Play Store on Fire TV Stick, which not just yet, which can happen in the future, but this is about how you can get Google Play Store client on your Fire TV Stick. That way you can, you know, have all the features that you normally get on Google Play Store, except with a few caveats, of course. Let's see those examples, shall we? It not only looks like Google Play Store, but also allows you to search, install and update standard Android apps directly from the Google Play Store servers as if it was the actual Play Store app. It also includes a lot of other features found in the Play Store, like being able to manage and launch your apps. And similarly, you can log in with your own account and manage all of your apps from there. However, unlike Google Play Store, you get other benefits like, you know, you can spoof your device information, language and region to get access to the apps that are not available in the restricted country or device. There are a few downsides such as, you know, installing a paid app and apps that require Google Play Store service that don't really quite work well. Sounds fun, right? So let's see how you can get Google Play Store client on your Fire TV stick. To get started, first you need to download the latest APK of Aurora Store from the Android or APK Mirror. So I'd first download the APK on my Android phone and send it to Fire TV Stick later. Once you've done that, we send it to Fire TV Stick. For this I'll use a new app called Send Files to TV. We've done a video on how to do that, but in short, you need to install this app on your Fire TV Stick as well and your Android phone. Once both of them are under the same Wi-Fi, open the app on your phone and then press send and then select the Aurora Store APK and then send it to your TV. You will see the files being received on your Fire TV stack. To access this file on your Fire TV stack, you'll need a File Explorer app such as Solid Explorer. So download that and then locate the Aurora Store APK. It should be available in the download folder. Click on it to install the app. And on the next page, you'll have to allow Total Commander to install unknown apps. And then finally click on install and Aerostore aka the client of Play Store will be sideloaded on your Fire TV stack. Now open it and then click next and then give storage permission. Finally, you'll be asked to add your Google account and here's an important part. Do not enter your Google credentials as the app itself says it violates Google's terms and conditions so your account may be deactivated by Google. Instead, click on anonymous or if you have a spare Google account that you're not using much, just use that. Next, once the app opens, it feels a lot like Google Play Store, you can find all the popular apps and games there. Now before you install any app or, you know, a game, you'll have to allow Aurora Store to install unknown apps and that's about it. So yeah, that's how you get Play Store apps and games on your Fire TV stick. The Aurora App Store is remarkably similar to the Google Play Store. It's got all the features that we'd normally look for from Google, so that way, you know, it's open source and it's safe to use as well. And it gives you a remarkably seamless experience for what it's worth. Speaking of seamless experience, check out smartlinksproxy.com if you're keen to unblock geo-restricted content like say Netflix, HBO Max, which is not even available outside US, BBC UK, now all these streaming platforms and services. You can get all of those if you're outside of the USA for about five bucks a month, which is, you know, 550 cents a day, just bugger all. Anyway, I'm Vamzi, thanks for watching, and if you're new here, click on that subscribe button, that way you're notified every time we put out a new video, so click on that bell icon as well. And you've seen this a million times, so this is the outro. See ya.